Welcome to my channel. In this episode, we will delve into the Dirac delta function. In an earlier episode, we have discussed the properties of Dirac delta function in detail. Now we will verify some properties of Dirac delta function. And we know uh, the area under the Dirac delta function or Dirac delta function is one. That means if we integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity delta x dx must be 1 and there is another property called shifting property that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity delta x minus a multiplied by fx which is a sufficiently well behaved function and whenever this the, perform this integration we will definitely get the value of the function at point x equals to a and we use this uh, property uh, in Python program. Just uh, consider the delta function representation of this type. There are various uh, delta function representations because delta function is not a function, it's the distribution. And here you consider the function as f fx equals to x square, which is sufficiently well built. And we rather check the, the absolute value of this integration minus f a must be uh, 0 but in numerically it, it is not 0 and uh, it is basically uh, some uh, small value epsilon maybe point triple not 1 or anything that you want uh, that you want uh, during the computations first we import numpy as np for numerical computing for first numerical computing and import scipy as si sci for scientific uh, packages and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt for visualization of the delta function. First, we define a function ddf uh, with two parameters x and n and a equals to 4 suppose constant in this question it is a equals to 4 is given and this function will return some function uh, th this function that is Dirac delta function with the Dirac delta representations and it is directly implemented using uh, np dot from np packages and then we define another function fx which returns x square and simple quadratic function now we define a uh, x array from minus 10 to plus 10 uh, this much um, suppose uh, 10,000 points 10,000 points may be there uh, it, you can change the numbers and now we integrate i capit cap i underscore 1 sci dot integrate dot sims we use simpson integration from the scipy package we call the function and it is integrated from minus 10 to plus 10 you can extend the limit of integration and you can choose and if we perform this integration if you run this and you will get the print area this is the area under the curve uh, that means integration means that and i1 is printed and up to this point you can see the area is 0.99999 something and if you increase the number of points say say if it is uh, 50 to 50 rather range not the number of points uh, then you will this is all area is almost one there is one not almost one before that that is all, almost one 0.999 now it is one and now we are going to the next part the verification of this thing uh, uh, for a simple thing a equals to 4 and for n in range uh, 1 to 2000 that means n will iterate through the values from 1 to 1999 and then we do the perform the integration as similarly like this and fx and here uh, we uh, perform the integration over the product of these two functions that means fx multiplied by delta x minus a that is uh, fx multiplied by ddf x n and multiply uh, and over x and if this integration uh, minus fa that means this definition is less than eps and eps is defined here 0 0.001 that means up to three decimal point and uh, if this is less than that if that integration is less than that and then uh, then you print the integral value of the integral and here is a something 
that that will the print the value for which the accuracy value of n for which the accuracy of uh, that uh, that integration minus fa will reach that is eps that will be printed and if this condition satisfied then the loop will break and these are for decorating purpose or informational purpose the value at which the value of n at which you will reach the limit because if you increase the uh, n uh, the value of n in this function you will uh, better to reach um, the behavior delta like behavior because uh, at x equals to a the function is very much um, peaked uh, and otherwise the function is almost zero that sort of uh, visual that sort of um, uh, visual thing that you can imagine and uh, now we uh, go to the plotting part and if you run this part then you will get uh, the integral is 16 because the function function is x square and the value of um, x equals to a means 4 that means 16 16.00 and the rest of the part is not accurate if you increase the accuracy and you have to change um, then you will not reach at n equals to 501 it will need large number of iteration for reaching the accuracy okay and uh, and plot uh, plot the function for uh, different values say n equals to say 500 it is um, it will be plotted via black dots and then n minus 400 that means is much less than the accuracy and it is plus 100 that means much more than the accuracy and those three points for visualizing purpose and these these are the rest of the parts are for legends x level y level i am not discussing this it is so simple and if you look at this and uh, black points are these and red point is much more highly picked and the green point which is say this this you can change this number can be changed at your will i have the use these points and 101 this is a green one that is not sharply picked as the number of point increases this is sharply picked the that means that x equals to 4 uh, x equals to 4 this is sharp that means x equals to a it is sharply picked as you increase the number of points it will be sharply picked it will better represent the Dirac delta behavior and and you can play with these things and you can change the function the function uh, representation of this Dirac delta function and you can play with different things here accuracy and all that and and all that related to Dirac delta function thank you for watching